Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a review of the Gerardo XM16 spin bike. Now this is one of the best spin bikes for home gyms and under 500 bucks. And as a matter of fact, right now it's actually under 400 bucks. So it's a hell of a deal. Now this works through magnetic resistance, which means there's no friction at all on the flywheel. Over here, we have seven different little magnets that are very powerful and they're connected to this knob here, the resistance knob. So as you increase the resistance, this brake pad area here will get closer to the flywheel and as the magnetic forces get closer to that chrome flywheel then it's going to create a harder resistance now the opposite is also true if you turn the knob the other way this moves away from the flywheel now you have less resistance now this knob also serves as the emergency brake as you push down it gets closer to the flywheel and now it completely stops the flywheel from spinning so now that you know how it works, I'm going to go over all the details of the bike. So the bike doesn't take up a lot of space. From the front to the back, it's about 40 inches long. From side to side, it's about 20 inches wide. So that gives you plenty of stability here in the legs. You have 20 inch wide legs, both in the front and the back. Now the seat is actually very comfortable. It has about two inches of padding. It's about 10.6 inches long and 8.0 inches wide, so it feels pretty good on the butt. Now you also have the option to move the seat closer to the handlebars and you can also move it up and down vertically. This fits people with an inseam of 29 and a half all the way up to 39 inches. So I'm gonna show you how you move this. So you have a knob down here, you release the knob by pulling down on it and that allows you to move this closer or further away from the handlebars. Now when you release that knob, it'll lock in place and then you have the ability to bring it up and down as well for different heights so this is controlling the height factor so I'm gonna go ahead and pull on it and then I can move this up 10 different settings and then lock it in place wherever I want to this over here only has six different settings where you can move it to so 10 up and down six side to side as far as the pedals go, the pedals are made of metal and they have little spikes on them to give you a secure grip. And on top of that, they come with a cage as well. The cage is gonna give you additional support whenever you're standing up on the bike for your workouts. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna get on the bike here, put my foot in there, get the other foot in there. Now I have, I'm pedaling here. Now if I wanted to stand up and get a workout going, then the cage makes sure that my foot doesn't slip if I'm standing up and going out full speed. So the cage just keeps the foot in a secure position and that way you don't have to worry about having any accidents. Now this is one of the most quietest bikes I've been on. It's a belt driven bike. It connects to a 30 pound flywheel. And when you compare a belt driven bike to a chain driven bike, there's a big difference there as far as noise levels go. The belt driven bike is very quiet. With a chain, you're gonna have a lot more noise. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pedal this with my hands as fast as I can. And I'm gonna put the mic right next to the flywheel so that you can listen to how quiet this thing is. So here we go. I'm gonna get it as fast as I can here with my hand. Get the mic. And I'll put it right next to the flywheel. Try it on the other side. So there you go. Extremely, extremely quiet, which is perfect. A lot, I know a lot of people have a setup of their bike inside a room. So if you're inside the house, this is gonna be a major factor because now you don't have that chain noise disturbing other people in the house. So as far as noise levels go, this is a good one. So now I'm at the front of the flywheel and attached to the front leg, we have two small wheels on each side and these come in handy when you wanna move the bike around. So it makes it very simple to transport. So all you have to do is grab the handles, tilt this forward, and now those wheels are gonna allow you to move this back and forth without having to pick up the bike. When it comes to the handlebars, you have a lot of room here for hand placement. You have a rubberized grip from all the way here, all the way to the top here on both sides. And then as far as your hand position goes, you can change them all over the place. You can place them down here, you can place them on the sides, or you can even place your whole forearms for full support on the handlebars. Now attached to the handlebars right in the middle, then you have this electronic device holder. And it's very simple. Place the device, whatever device, whether that's a gaming console, an iPad, or a phone, put it on there and then you can stream entertainment or you can actually watch online classes for whatever spinning program you like to follow. You have a very simple LCD monitor here. It shows you the basic stuff. You have the time, you have your speed, distance, calories burned, 
odometer, and then your RPMs. Again, nothing very sophisticated, something very simple to use to help you keep track of your progress. And just like the seat, the handlebars are also adjustable. You have a knob here on the front. You can adjust it by pulling it, releasing it, and then you can move it up and down, lock it in place. You have another knob right here that you can pull, and this allows you to move the handlebars further or closer away from the rider. And last but not least, we have the water bottle holder right here in the middle so you can get through the toughest workouts without taking a break. If you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest uploads. For more home gym equipment reviews, make sure you also check out my website, shreddedad.com. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you check out the XM16. I'll leave a link below this video. One of the best bikes for under 500 bucks. Very quiet bike, so it's great for the home gym. Take care. Have a good one.